Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome to Repair and Replace. If the pilot light in your water heater keeps on going out or won't stay lit, then it could be a problem with the thermal cutoff switch. In this episode, I'll show you how to test and replace the thermal switch in a standing pilot water heater. Standing pilot water heaters use a pilot flame that burns continuously and will ignite the main burner whenever heat is needed. Next to the pilot is the thermocouple, or thermopile, which generates a small electrical current when heated by the pilot flame. This produces less voltage than a AA battery, but enough to power the gas valve. Starting in 2003, all gas water heaters are installed with a sealed combustion chamber and a flammable vapor ignition resistant device, or FVIR. This protects against overheating and the uncontrolled combustion of paint fumes, gasoline, and other flammable vapors. In a standing pilot water heater, this device is a thermal cutoff switch, or TCO. If the temperature in the combustion chamber gets too high, then the switch will trip and cut power to the valve. Additionally, if the switch is faulty, then it will also prevent the pilot from staying lit. To begin, you'll need a multimeter and a screwdriver or nut driver. Always be smart when working with gas. If you notice a strong gas odor at any point, then shut off the gas, ventilate the area, and immediately call a technician. First, turn off the gas supply. The handle should be perpendicular to the pipe. Now, remove the bottom cover. Set the thermostat control to the pilot position. Now set the control valve to the off position. If the thermal switch has a button, then it's likely resettable. Simply press the button to reset the switch. Not all thermal switches have a reset button. Some will reset automatically, and some water heaters will use a one-time fuse. Regardless, you can test the switch for continuity to see if a continuous electrical signal can pass through it. First, set the multimeter to the ohm setting. Disconnect the wires to the switch. Place the probes on the terminals. If the multimeter reads OL or open loop, then there's no continuity and the switch should be replaced. Now, if the switch has continuity, then it's best to test the thermocouple or thermal pile. You can see more in the videos linked in the description. First, unscrew and remove the thermal switch. Align the new switch and tighten the screws. Now reconnect the wires. First, Turn on the gas to the water heater. Now relight the pilot. Now set the gas control to the on position. Next, set the control to the desired heat setting. The main burner should fire up. Finally, replace the door cover. Hopefully this has helped you get your water heater working again. For more troubleshooting on water heaters, furnaces, and appliances, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit our Namery location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.